Welcome back to another episode of uh, XCOM Enemy Unknown. Now, um, I technically have Carapace armor ready. However, I don't have enough uh, money. It's a tough, it's a tough call because I can only make two suits of armor, and you know, if I, if I had more engineers, then I'd be able to make uh, more of them because of the the fact that. Um, it would, I think it, it would reduce the amount of materials if I had more engineers, but, you know, at this point, I can't make... I don't know, how, am I, how much am I even far away from? Several members of the Council have expressed an interest in acquiring some of the artifacts we've recovered. However, we should be careful in choosing what items we release. The research team may not have discovered their true value yet. I can sell the damage shit, so it's okay. It even tells you it's free to be sold. I'm only, like, eight all alloys away from being able to you uh, do what I want with it but it's you know it's I don't want to we'll make one and we'll give it to the support that's that's the plan um, so here we go it's it's tough it's a tough call to make and if I do Mexico satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Additional uplink required. The thing is, Mexico isn't even that worthwhile to do in the first place. However, I really want the engineers. I'm kind of just worried about these countries, which are gonna... Their panic levels are seriously gonna increase. But, you know, it's worth the risk, because I... The engineers will make satellites very cheap, so... That's, the, well, that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm sticking to it. So, we have, uh... Nonner, uh, Nonner's here. We can we can bring the Zang guy with us. Although I didn't I didn't pimp him out, so maybe not. And uh, he's gonna bring along the armor. This new body armor was developed using what we've learned from the alloys employed in the alien ship. It should prove to be both lighter and stronger than anything we've used in the past. Yeah, he's 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 happy, and he's got three med kits with him. The guy with three med kits honestly should be the one with the the armor, you know. Uh, I'm not gonna give the armor really to to Mustachio over here. I want to give these two guys uh, armor ASAP, but since I can't really split them between them, I'd rather neither ne of them have it. I just wait for the next mission. Since it's, if I'm not gonna do everybody, like, whatever. Two heavies and one sniper and one support. So let's uh, let's go to Me Me Mexico. You know, have a Prepare beer. One. And oh God, where is We're this? We're going to be putting down in Mexico for this mission. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Now this one I'm probably going to do it a little bit safer than usual. Position on approach of the abduction site. Strike one is awaiting drop clearance. Copy that, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage hostile targets. Watch your backs out there, people. Oh, that didn't take long. Seventy-one. I'll take that. It's four damage. That's a lot of damage. And a lot of kick-ass we just dished out. Okay. 39 on him. You know, I probably should... Okay, I think I have a rocket. Oh, is that in range? I don't think so. Uh, how do I... I need to zoom in slightly. Oh, that may not be in range at all. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Could be a horrible idea, but I know. Okay, hopefully that will destroy some of the cover he's behind. Otherwise, he's gonna be the first to get shot up. Yeah, that did it. We still missed, though. Well, Mr. Shiv, uh, this is the moment you've trained for.
That's not a good enough sh shot to take. All right. Everyone gets a bit of smoke here. Not worth the risk here. So we've just added 20, 20 uh, bonus to our... Uh, and I guess he decided he wanted none of that. Great positioning. All right. Sniper. I choose you. Uh, oh, wait. You don't have a shot. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know. I will take that into consideration. Because that's fucking bullshit that you did not have a shot. Well, you can come right in here and uh, even though it's half cover. Laser rifles would probably help about now. But you know, we'll, uh, we'll keep moving in. Look at that, 71% chance. Even with a pistol. You know, I, I was saying shit about Gunslinger before, but holy crap. You know, it's made a believer out of me more than one time. Alright, well, you can come straight in here. That's just beyond ridiculous, though. Alright, well, let's see what we got here. So we have a... I don't even know what the hell this is. It's like a bookstore or something. Uh, but I, I would say that we should definitely maybe head down here and we'll see what's... Um... There's like a back alley here. Uh, or we can start heading over there. So actually, you know what? I'm now kind of inclined to go over here. Let's see what's over here, shall this we? This is a disturbing sign, to say the least. It's hard to differentiate where the organic material ends and the machine begins. It's not going to win any beauty contests, that's for sure. All right. My sniper should definitely head back here. Uh, and I'm gonna have people start taking cover. Alright, let's see it, you and everyone's on Overwatch today. No one's coming out to play. But that's that that just means we do sniper overwatch now. They'll come out. Or maybe not. We'll give it one more we'll give it one more chance. Okay, I'm 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 confident they're not coming out, so we are going to start moving up uh, these guys. And my sniper can start coming up with the gunslinger. Even though it's half cover, um, yeah. And now we hear them coming from that direction too. That's not good, they're on patrol. Okay, so here's the plan. The guy with the highest health will poke his head out here and be the guy who sees everything. Where the, where the fuck did these guys come from? Well, you know, they decided to bail to the alleyway, so, you know, this can't be that bad. All right, well, he has a shot on him, 56%. I've done better than that. No shot still with this guy. That's not worthwhile for me. Um, let's see what we got. We have a garbage pail, so let's go to the garbage pail. Even though it's half cover, 59%, I'll take it. The odds are in my favor this time. Which means I can go probably dash him all the way up here so he's he's up and ready to support and everyone else is on overwatch. So uh, the aliens are... The, the, I saw those two sectoids and uh, I'm not having any of that shit. So we're going to just move our sniper slowly up into a position where he'll be able to support. And we know they're there. Oh, here we go. Luckily, my sniper does have a shot. I don't know how, but it's a good one. <laughs> Wall hacks. That's, that's who I depend upon to get the, the job done. My sniper. 
naturally. Alright, well, let's start moving everyone in. Here we go. What the fuck? Well, that, uh... Worked. I say with finger quotes. Um... Yeah, we're... Yeah, I'm, I'm as confused as you are. Okay, let's just let's just go with that. All right, we're gonna move our sniper up into this co nice little cover here, because unfortunately, it's kind of a problem for him to actually get these these angles out. Um, and now I'm actually wondering where he should be. We're just gonna overwatch here. They are in the alleyway, for sure. Uh, my sniper would never be able to get a good shot in there. So it's even debatable if, I, if this is, should be my course of action here. Alright, well, here's what we're going to do. My heavies are going to start making their way through this uh, fun little uh, library or whatever the fuck this is. And my sniper will be covering up the rear. This is not ideal... Yeah, they're definitely there. Okay, so, um... This guy right here, he's gonna get this site... ...in which... Uh, ...they're going to take a look. Like, he, they're gonna, he's gonna get the site, and he's gonna be able to see, and good job on that door. I'm pretty sure it was a sectoid. So if they happen to poke their head out... Nope, they did not do that. Alright, so, this guy's gonna definitely be able to see him. Worth a shot. I always take those 60% chance. Just how I roll. And... I'm actually surprised that this didn't end already. Oh, wow. Great aim there. He's like aiming towards over there or some shit. What the hell are you doing? Oh god, what? Oh, they're coming closer to me. Well, let's see. Do I have a rocket? I can fire at him. Okay, they're already dead. So, this leaves us open for opportunities of, you know, getting a couple of uh, fun kills in. Let's see what we got. It's a flank shot. That's uh, one down. And I'm just gonna go behind the dumpster here. Take the second shot. Amazing shooting, everybody. Operational objectives completed. Excellent, excellent job. Hopefully promotions for everybody. <laughs> You know, if only all of my operations could go that smoothly, fuck South Africa. Do you even care about South Africa? Alright, well, uh... We have landed, and let's go actually- Wow. And that was an impressive effort from our troops. We did really good. Okay, so we have either a choice between disabling shot or battle scanner. Battle scanner. This disabling shot is... Uh, the only time I've ever really used it is when... Later on, you can, uh, if your own allies get taken over by get mind controlled, you can hit them and then this unloads their primary weapon which reduces their damage, which is a good idea. However, uh, Battle Scanner is also, it's it's basically, it gives, creates vision and for a sniper that's actually very good. Uh, so you can scout out areas beforehand. He gets two of them too. Uh, as you saw from last time, heat vision. Uh, oh, and now I get Revive, which basically, uh, I not only bring, uh, uh, if soldiers get critically wounded, I can now bring them back to life, instead of just, uh, stabilizing them, so they get back into the fight. Opposed to Rifle Suppression, which, uh, uh I can pin people down, but my heavies already do that, so I'd rather keep, I'd rather get Revives. And, from last time, Suppression. 
that went really well. And we got Flutter autopsies and a bunch of other things here. And Mexico. Be in touch, Commander. Mexico's feeling pretty good. So we have South Africa. Additional uplink is, is kind of mad at me. Engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Building three more satellites. Only have 50 credits left. Can I build... No, I can't build two armors, but I can build one more, and I guess that's good enough. The more I see, eh. the more I don't want to see. That twisted hulk of flesh and metal, driven by the alien technology. Can we still call that life? We have to keep moving forward with the project, but the thought of treading the same path as the aliens is troubling. What if they were like us once? Are we just part of a continuing cycle? If this is a glimpse of our future, I want no part of it. Oh, let's see. We got an officer training school, which is going to be done in a couple days, so that's we're good. We only got 30 bucks. It's not good, but uh, we'll scan for some activity. All right, this is a good thing. I can basically increase my squad size, and uh, make them increase the recovery and stuff like that. Most of this I actually probably won't be getting, but there's one thing I will get in that squad size, because the rest of this I can actually wait until uh, I get, I think it's, uh, I think it's Asia, and I get, uh, I get all that chopped in half. So, and since I have like satellites coming like fucking no tomorrow, I can wait for most of that. Uh, however, the squad si size is like 50 bucks. So what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna sell some uh, sectoid corpses because we don't need 29 of them. The artifact we're about to sell to the council hasn't been examined by the research team. Fuck I'm off. I'm sure Dr. Fallon would be disappointed if we put financial gains we don't need that many. research and development. This is also a good idea, uh, but squad size first. And we're good. That's, uh, that's all I wanted to do. Uh, okay, let's see. We've got beam weapons. Uh, let's see. I kind of want to make an access lift, and that's what we will do. Because I have enough money for that. And let's go scan for some more activity. Commander, we've got another contact. The signature is a little bigger this time, though. This is a problem. It's a very big contact, and I have two interceptors there. So, uh, let's see if we can go fuck us, fuck us a UFO. Ultimately, we, we, we want to defend our satellite there. We have two, so if this one fails, all I have to do is bring in the other one. That was close. And, uh, when it, apparently it died in the middle of the ocean. Was I correct on that? Look at that, it's right there. It's just off the Pacific coast. Well, I guess uh, we're going to go and uh, bring our aqua gear along for next time, so until then... We will be watching.